Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a quick update on where we're at as a church with reopening. At uh, the time of making this video, we're just getting into March. You made it to March! So it's spring of 2021. Praise God that we've gotten this far. We're just about a year into this whole worldwide pandemic with COVID. And uh, thank you so much as a church for persevering with us. For the last four months, we have been with online only services, which is difficult. It's been a tough season uh, for us as a church, but God has used it and he's growing us in so many ways, uh, including growing our online congregation. We love you guys who are part of our online congregation. That's fantastic. And of course, uh, he's growing our perseverance and our patience and so on. So uh, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for your perseverance. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Now, it looks like the province is moving towards allowing things, to, the restrictions to ease up a bit so that we can safely continue uh, to, to meet in increasing ways. And we don't exactly know what those look like yet, so, but we want to be ready for them as they come. So we're going to take some small steps now and then just keep uh, increasing those with the expectation and prayer that God will uh, make a way where we can safely and in a way that's healthy for everyone, uh, open things back up. So this is what our plan is. As of March 14th, that's a Sunday, Sunday, March 14th, we are going to open two services at the current restriction maximum, which is 30 people plus volunteers. So we will have uh, an 845 and a 1030 service on March 14th, and we would love you to come to that. Those services will come open for registration on uh, the Sunday evening or the Monday morning before. So the Monday uh, before the Sunday, uh, we will open up online registration. You just go to our uh, victorymj.com, our website, and you can go to registration there. Register yourself, your family, your kids. Um, we'd love you to make sure you mark uh, your, the ages of your kids in the registration. And then we'll fill those up and please help us fill those up as quickly as possible. Uh, one of the fun things for me is that I get to work with lots of other pastors and leaders and churches, both in Victory Churches, also the churches in Moose Jaw and churches around our province and, and in other provinces. And I, I ask them all kinds of questions. You know, how's it going with reopening? They ask us the same. We learn from each other. The number one thing I hear from pastors is it, it breaks their heart that so many people are not registering because they want to give somebody else a seat. So they, they keep saying, oh, I'll, I'll, I don't want to take a seat. I'm going to. And then, of course, the seats don't fill up the same way. And so let me encourage you. This is our learning from listening to all these other pastors is uh, as soon as things uh, open for a service, please register for them. Fill them up as fast as you can. The faster they fill up, the more encouraged we are and the more we know we need to continue to add more services. So March 14th, we're going to have those two services. And then on Easter Sunday, that's April 4th, only three weeks later, we're going to open up four services again um, uh, with 30 people max each as the current restrictions are. Now, we're also watching to see if restrictions continue to open up. If they do, and God willing, we're praying that they will, then we will open up services and spaces as quickly as a few things have to happen for us to be able to do that. One, the demand has to be there, so we have to see the services filling up. But two, is that we have to make sure that we have all of our teams ready and uh, trained and so on. And it takes some organization to do that. We have to get the bugs out of the registration systems and the different things. We have to make sure our children's ministry is ready. We have to make sure we can do things with all the, the uh, current guidelines and uh, sanitizing teams and all these different things. So as we get those things together, and it'll take us a bit, week by week, we'll get better and better at them. Then we'll uh, open up more and more for more people to come. And of course, our goal is as many people as we can safely have, and we'll just keep on adding services and spaces to be able to allow that. But we're really excited to be able to take uh, some small steps forward right now. March 14th, two services. April 4th, we'll go to four services. Current restrictions, 30 people. Uh, plus volunteers, and then we'll add on as we go. Uh, we do take your health and safety as, as a, a huge priority for us. It's very important. And we're going to continue to go with the guidelines that have been given to us. And we'll go over and above those. And uh, we are just excited to be able to worship with a few people in person. And of course, with the majority of you continuing online. We love you online. And, and again, I want to emphasize this. Uh, our church is, is hybrid right now. That means we have a few people in person, most of our people online. And of course, we love everyone the same. So God bless and thanks so much.